Hello everybody and welcome to another QML tutorial. Um, this is Richard Stallman. Um, Richard Stallman is often known by his initials RMS and his American Software Freedom Activist computer program and he for freedom of use of study distribution modify a software so blah 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 and writing the GNU public license okay well why is this important at all to QML? <coughs> it's not really um, so I mean you can look at the license and stuff and that's pretty important but yeah so this is John Luke Picard John Luke Picard was part of the Star Trek and no I'm just kidding you guys um, but here we go here's uh, a picture of uh, RMS with a shield and some great some fruits in his hand um, great <laughs> and here we go here's a uh, here's a picture of John Luke Picard as a um, a Lego guy. Okay, so I've gone into uh, my GIMP here, and I also have a picture of a ring, and I've gone in and cut out the things in the images that I um, that I don't want anymore. Uh, so uh, in GIMP. Anyways, so what's this all have to do with QML? Well, let's find out here. So let's uh, create a new project, and we're going to call it uh, RMS game. Done. And here we go. Let's uh, get rid of this text because we don't need it. Let's let's open up this file. Let's create some. Let's create a directory structure here. So show containing folder. Right click, create folder. I'm going to call it artwork. Call it whatever you would like. And close down my file manager. And let's go back over to our GIMP here. And let's export these uh, to where they need to go. export okay and over to this one and export and our last one to export Okie dokie. All right, so let's. Uh, we don't need GIMP anymore, so let's go back over to our cute creator here. And as we can see, we now have our artwork listed. So let's trade. Let's import our trusty cute quick windows. Okay, let's make this into an image. Let's set it to be equal to screen. With divided by two and the same thing for the height but with height of course screen the height is divided by two Let's set the source equal to uh, ring which is underneath our artwork directory or whatever you called your directory let's actually give the ID to this to be a ring too um, and that's about good. Let's just run this to see what it looks like. There we go. We click on it. It closes. All right. Let's add two more images here. Let's go image. And this one we're going to call RMS. And it's going to be the RMS file, which is artwork. Whoops. RMS ping. Now, let's uh, take this with right here. And let's play with this to make sure we can get a good size here. Let's try six. Actually, we, and let's just say ring so it scales with the ring and not the screen. A little bit small. We'll try five and four point five. Eh, we'll just do it squared. Why not? He's kind of squared. Um, so there we go. We got RMS. Uh, now let's make another image. Whoops. This one we're going to call Picard. And of course our artwork. And Picard. Okay. So let's set some width and height to him too to be the same as RMS. Ok, 
Okay. Let's run this. There we go. We quit the application now. Now let's go back down to our mouse area and let's fill in Picard. And we can get rid of on clicked, but we're going to use some dragging now. So let's say drag, and we got to set our target, which is Picard. And we're going to set it to be X and Y axis. So drag uh, axis, and we would do drag X and Y axis. Okay. And we're filling in Picard. That all looks pretty good. Let's give that a shot and see if it'll move him. And it does, which I'm very happy about. We could put a bunch of sequential animation and stuff like that on it if we wanted to. But for right now, we're just going to keep on tracking on what we're doing here. So what we're going to do with RMS is we're going to say X okay, is equal to Picard dot x and we'll just say minus five and then for y whoops y we'll say picard y minus five okay so he should follow him now and he does okay so now let's make some behavior let's clean this code up first and now let's go back up to rms and let's make some behavior on his x and y just say behavior on X and we'll say number animation now let's 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 do smooth animation for this one we'll do smooth animation because we haven't done that in the past and we'll set the velocity um, so velocity is like zero is like really slow and like 10,000 would be like super super fast so right now I'll just show you that so we'll set it to 400 for this case right and we're gonna do the same thing for the Y also too so control whoops and let's try that again control V and change it to be the Y and not the X so that's at 400 so let's go ahead and run this now if we drag him he follows him at a pretty good rate but if we drag him fast you can see I don't know if it's coming back on the video, but anyway, so let's just set that down. Let's break that down in half. Well, let's say maybe 150. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that smooth. There we go. That's a lot better. Okay, um, I like that. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and add some text in the ring. So we'll say text. Okay, and we're going to say name is equal to, uh-oh, no, I don't know, what should we call the text ID by um, one, or lost actually it should be called, but we'll just set the text to be, uh-oh, that new line, you have to read the GPL 3. Okay, and uh, we'll put a tab at the beginning of this one. Okay, now we're going to set the font. Pixel size, I don't know. I'm just going to hard code it in for right now. 48, and we're, we'll set the bold to, why not? Font dot bold, and we'll set that to be to true. Let's clean this code up. And... Uh, Okay, let's go ahead and run this just to see what that text looks like. Oh no. And so we can barely read it. So let's actually anchor center that in to ring. Okay. Oh no, you have to read the GPL. Let's bring the font down some to say maybe 28. So oh, no, you have to read the GPL. And we'll put two tabs in there for because we're doing this quick. Okay. Oh no, you have to read the GPL. Okay, great. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to set the states. We can set the states, we can do this a couple different way. Okay, let's set up our card to have some states. Uh, that's 
not really a good idea either. Uh, yeah, let's set him up to have some states. Uh, state. I guess I could do a couple states, but you know, that's not really a good way of doing it either. Let's first get this to be correct. Let's say opacity. And we'll say um, if RMS dot X is equal to Picard dot X minus five, because that's how we set it up. And we'll just do this with Y2 and in uh, RMS dot Y is equal. And we forgot our If RMS X is equal to Y and Y, okay. Picard dot Y minus five, okay. And then we're gonna say, so when it starts out, we don't want it to be visible. And then if RMS dot Y is equal, equal, equal to negative five, because that's its starting out point, because we have it starting out at net behind Picard and Picard's starting out at zero. So and then we'll say the same thing for X. We'll say and RMS dot X and we need to make make these not equal. RMS dot X is not equal to negative five. Okay. We are going to say one else zero. Okay, so basically what we're saying here is is if RMX, uh, if this image right here is equal to the same as this one, and the Y is also equal to the same, and it's not the starting out point, then the opacity should be 1, else it should be 0. Let's run this and make sure that it works. And there's no uh-oh texting here, right here, right? We move it around, right? Uh-oh, here he comes. Oh, no. Oh, no. He says, oh, no, you have to read the, the GPL. Okay, so that's what we have to do, and we should probably put this down. Mwah. Where's our original image located at? Right there. Okay, let's try this again just to make sure everything looks good. And it should go over them, and it does. Okay, now let's set a loader to make it so that you have to read the GPL. <laughs> okay, so let's make another rectangle. Okay. Now let's, let's actually use the loader element for this. this. This could be a good time to use a loader. So let's say <coughs> loader. And we'll say uh, we're going to open up a file. So let's create a new file. and QT quick to choose and we're gonna call this one GPL press next we're gonna press finish okay and what we're going to do is we're going to import uh, QT web kit 3.0 now um, we would not be able to use this in uh, you know we want to be able to use this in, in Android and we're gonna import QT screen also too yeah, let's import that too. Okay, too quick. Window. And rectangle. Screen. Dot. With. And, uh. divided by two that's what it was sorry about that brain freeze there screen dot height dash divided by two okay and we're not going to use the loader actually but what we are going to do is we are going to say web view and we're going to set the same width and size and we're going to say uh, URL and 
go back over to the internet here, and here is the GNU Public License 3. Okay. Now, let's set a... We could make this just into an item, but let's just leave it as is right now, okay? And let's go back over to our RMS game file right here. And we're going to change this instead of a loader. We are going to say RMS game. Whoops. It's actually we named it GPL. Okay. And we're going to say uh, visible. And we're going to say one dot opacity. equal 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 to one then true else false and uh, we can set some width and height again like we normally do 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 and we could set uh, we could just do this on opacity too I like using opacity because we can use a lot of great behaviors uh, set it up to be one else uh, well uh, this will be cool we'll just set it up to be one's opacity one stop opacity okay so the more closer that RMS gets to us the uh, the more we're going to see it but we have to put that underneath these guys here so take this copy it put it right there and run it again ah, 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 ah. <laughs> there you go you had to <laughs> now we have to read it okay this is Joseph that's how fast QML is um, we just made a game um, we learned about smooth animation that was the whole part of this tutorial but we just made a game and uh, we could like you know take the velocity right and then make some JavaScript functions that say you know it goes faster and faster and faster you know and then you know there's 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 a bunch of stuff that we could do we could set the uh, the images uh, opacities also too but anyways this is Joseph uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, have a good one and see ya.